today's Leader in Me topic is habit number four, think win-win. What does it mean to think win-win? It means to think of solutions to problems where everyone is happy. You take into consideration what others want, not just what you want. When other people win, you celebrate with them. For example, you and your friend are going to play a game together. You want to play Go Fish, but your friend wants to play Tag. What do you do? To think win-win, you and your friend should come up with a third option that you can agree on, like playing hide and seek, or compromise and play one game for a little bit and then switch to the other. And if you can't agree on a solution, then you can agree to disagree and walk away respectfully. In nature, there are many animals that work together or synergize so they can both win. Let's take a closer look at the relationship between the Nile crocodile and the Egyptian plover to learn how they work together to win-win. The Nile crocodile and Egyptian plover live in Africa. The Nile crocodile is a carnivorous reptile that averages 500 pounds and 16 feet in length that prefers marshes, swamps, and river habitats. While they mostly eat fish, they will attack almost anything that crosses their path, like zebras, small hippos, other crocodiles, and even birds. Wait, so then how does the crocodile have a win-win relationship with the Egyptian plover, a bird? The plover is a small shorebird that is found mostly on sandbars and slow flowing rivers. They eat insects, worms, seeds, and other invertebrates. It is also called the crocodile bird because they eat the leftover meat and the Nile crocodile's teeth. That sounds like a lose-win situation for the plover and crocodile. Won't the crocodile just eat the plover once it lands in its mouth? And if the crocodile did wait to eat the plover until after it was done cleaning its teeth, the plovers would eventually learn not to help the crocodile. Then it would become a lose-lose situation. Surprisingly, the crocodile and plover have developed a win-win relationship. The crocodile gets his teeth cleaned to prevent infection, while the plover gets a safe bite to eat. Everyone wins! Aren't animals amazing? Remember, the most unlikely of acquaintances can make a great team. To learn more about other species that work together to win-win, check out our Seed Synergize video about symbiotic relationships. When we think win-win, we have to find a balance between courage and consideration. Courage is needed to express and stand by your needs. Consideration is needed to be able to listen and truly understand the needs of others. Low courage and low consideration results in a lose-lose situation. However, if you have high courage and low consideration, you are only concerned with your wants and needs. This is a win-lose situation. But low courage and high consideration means you put others before yourself, which is a lose-win situation. So how do we get a win-win? You need to have high courage and stand up for yourself, but you also need high consideration to be courteous of others' needs. For example, you and your sibling go to get a snack, and there is only one chocolate chip cookie left, but you both want it. What is the win-win solution? Here are your options. Number one, you take the cookie and say, you snooze, you lose. Number two, you split the cookie. Number three, you each pick a different snack and no one gets the cookie. Or number four, you give the cookie to your sibling and you get a different snack. Great job. By splitting the cookie, you both win. When you both win, you are depositing into your emotional bank accounts. 
Let's learn more about that. We all have emotional bank accounts that represent our relationships and interactions with others. You can deposit or withdraw from emotional bank accounts. When someone is nice, it makes you feel happy. That is a deposit. When someone is mean to you, it makes you feel sad. That is a withdrawal. Here are some examples of behavior that result in deposits or withdrawals. Kindness, courtesy, keeping promises, and sincere apologies are deposits. Rudeness, selfishness, breaking promises, and placing blame are withdrawals. To think win-win, you need to have a positive attitude and make deposits into emotional bank accounts. For example, your friend got the Student of the Week award in your classroom, but you really hoped it would be you. What do you do? Here are your options. Say, no fair, it should have been me, and stomp away. Or say, great job, I hope it can be me some week, and give them a high five. If you think win-win, which response deposits into their emotional bank account? The second option is the kind response, even though you were still disappointed you weren't chosen. Keep up the positive attitude, and one week it may be you. Great job! It's time to grab your journal.